Ladies and gentlemen, Zendaya! First of all, how does it feel to have such an incredible reception right now? You've been getting this all over the world at this point for this film, girl. I feel incredibly honored and lucky. It's so sweet to see all of you here. So thank you so much for taking the time to be here. I've, I've been seeing so much of you tell me that you grew up with me and then seeing pictures of you as, as little ones. And I just want to say thank you for being on this journey with me. I really, really appreciate you being here. And they are so excited. It's been hours of them. Isn't Daya here? Isn't Daya here? I feel like I can just feel her presence. Um, Tashi Duncan is such a beautiful, complicated, incredible woman. I'm curious to know what drew you to her originally and what ways, if any, you kind of see a bit of yourself in her. Oh, man. Oh, she approaches life a little bit differently than I do. Um, but she, no, I think what stood out to me is just that she was incredibly complicated and complex, and there was nothing one dimensional about her. And I think it was, it felt like a, a, a big challenge, you know? Um, and how do I make sure that she's still human and fragile and, um, and we find her gooey center, if yeah. you will. Um, and, I, and I just wanted to also take on the challenge of, of, of tennis, too. I think it's such an incredible sport. And the idea of like her being the best at it, I was like, oh, man, OK, I'm really in for something here. So also just the amazing people that I get to work with as well. The boys are so talented and so wonderful in the film and Luca as well. So. Yeah, I mean, the, the script was brilliant, Justin is brilliant, and um, it was a no-brainer for me. This love triangle is as intense as the tennis matches are. Working with Josh and Mike, what was the highlight for you? Um, just that they're wonderful, wonderful people. They're just really wonderful people, and it made it such a they made it such a wonderful place to go to work every day. Um, I think we all care deeply about what we do, but sometimes it's important to laugh and like have joy and um, and make fun and like have jokes and make sure that the work just doesn't feel too serious all the time. Who was the class clown? I think it was all three of us, to be honest. It's just based on, on any given moment, okay. to be tr to be truthful. Um, but we just had a lot of fun. And, and, and I think when you create a space where you feel safe and feel supported by each other, then you feel like you can do your best work, so. And you mentioned being interested in the physicality and the actual tennis of it all. Talk to me about the training. What was it like? Because you all pulled off those tennis scenes so beautifully. It was giving elite. Well, we have a great director. <laughs> all right. Shout out to Luca, absolutely. Um, no, I would say, you know, it's, it's, it's a combination of many things. I think we have, uh, we had great kind of like a tennis team around us, um, starting with Brad Gilbert, um, and, and, and Eric, I don't know if Eric's here, but, oh, there's Brad. Hey. Hi, Brad. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just had a great team and, and support system around us. We had incredible, um, our, our tennis doubles who are obviously really good at it. <laughs> um, and, and it was just about, I think, kind of getting in sync with them. And for me, I tried to like approach it from a dance background because I was like, I'm never gonna be Serena, okay? So I might as well give that dream up now. So, just give it to Gab. Shout out to Venus, she's somewhere here on the carpet too. We saw her, Venus Williams, yeah. Is she here? She's in the building. I'm about to find her. <laughs> um, no, she's, I mean, she's amazing. Um, but. I, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be them, right? Yeah. So I realized that I had to approach it from a place physically that I understood. And for me, that was dance. Mm. So I tried to approach it from like, okay, I'm learning choreography. And how do I learn this, this footwork or this physicality? Um, and I really enjoyed myself. Yeah. And a producer also. Yeah. What was that like, working behind the scenes also, which is so impressive? Um, I think it's just a it's a it's a way to be more creative and and to learn um, I think from someone like Luca and, and be able to be in a space where you can support your fellow actors and and hopefully um, get the best work possible mm -hmm. out of the out of the material when you kind of have like a a, a, a real role or a seat at the table. Okay. And I know we got to let you go, but just quickly, you've been serving up court couture all season. Okay, this press run. We've got Law Roach over here serving just as much. Just really quickly, what was the inspiration for tonight's like? How much fun have you had with that? My not so secret weapon over here. Um, no, we just, we really enjoy, I think we've played with theme dressing for many, many years now. And I think it's just, it's fun. I think when you have um, uh, material with like rich references already, why not pull from it and, and explore and experiment through clothes? Um, and so that's what we try to do. And sometimes the references are subtle. Sometimes they're, sometimes pe people pick it up later. Sometimes it's very literal, but we have fun. Yeah. 
Well, you are having fun. I hope you have the best time tonight. Congratulations on the film. You were brilliant in it. Zendaya, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we are joined by Josh O'Connor. You play Patrick Zweig, of course, in Challengers. What originally drew you to the role of Patrick? He's so much fun to watch on screen. Yeah, I think I just, I was drawn by the idea of this kind of horrific, cheeky, flawed person who I saw so much love for. I felt so much love for just in spite of his flaws. And to play someone who felt very different to me and there was lots of crossovers as well at a time in my life that felt like a, a challenge and um, like an interesting thing to do. So. The chemistry between you, Zendaya, and Mike is absolutely incredible. I mean, the tension is next level. What was it like between the three of you building that chemistry, working together on set? Maybe a favorite memory? Uh, well, yeah, we had the time of our lives. We're, the three of us are very close. We're the, um, I think the big surprise to a lot of people who hear it, but also for me, was that, you know, Mike Feist and Zendaya are obviously incredible actors. and to rock up and see that they're all the same as me and we're all kind of shy and all sort of scared. It was a... Uh... I think Zendaya has entered the building. I mean, Josh, come on. Look at that. Come on. Talk about a leading lady, right? Yeah, she looks amazing. You were saying you were giving so many compliments about Zendaya. How conveniently timed. I know. I planned it. Um, yeah, we were all kind of shy and in it together and... Yeah, it was a treat. We're all very close, yeah. Incredible. So I got to ask you this. When it came to those incredible scenes on the court, one, what was the training light? Who out of the three of you would actually take it in real life? Who was walking away sort of the best tennis player? Speak your truth. Yeah, I mean, it's Mike Feist. He's an it's amazing Mike. tennis player. Yeah, okay. yeah, he'd beat us every day of the week. <laughs> he wouldn't admit it because he's uh, way too humble. But okay. yeah, it would be Mike Feist. I'll definitely circle back around with, with him on that. Um, talk to me a little bit about the dynamic with the three of you when the cameras weren't rolling. What did you love most about teaming up together? And then also Zendaya, seeing her as a producer behind the scenes for this film. Yeah, I mean, in between, we were all sort of very focused and, um, you know, we'd play games just to kind of lighten the mood. I think there's like, there's so much pace in this film and excitement that sometimes you need to just like slow down a little bit. So we were quite good at that. Um, and having Z as a producer was amazing. It was like having a head of department. And she we felt very supported by her. And if she wasn't filming one day, she'd still be there and, you know, fighting our corner. So, yeah, it was great. Well, incredible job. Absolutely loved the film. Have fun celebrating tonight, Josh. Thanks, <laughs> of course. Thanks. Give it up for him, y'all. <laughs> Mike Feist joining me now. You play Art Donaldson in the film. Tell me a little bit about what it was like stepping into his world. What challenged you most, maybe excited you most about bringing him to life? Um, probably the most challenging, I think, uh, on my end, honestly, was working with Josh O'Connor. Um, just a nightmare of a human, really. Oh, I mean, look at him over there. He's just kind of like... Just taking pictures and being a generally decent human. Yeah. Autographs. Who does that? Really milking it, you know what I mean? Uh, no, the truth of the matter is, is we really enjoyed ourselves working on this project, uh, and it was a daunting task, taking on the life of a professional tennis player, and uh, it was a lot of hard work, uh, and I'm really grateful for both Josh and Z for all their wonderful support, and uh, I hope everyone just enjoys the movie. Absolutely. Now, Josh told me that you are an incredible tennis player, that you really left no stone unturned when it came to showing them up. On top of being an absolute nightmare of a human, he's also an awful liar. Um, that's not true at all. Uh, but, but look, we all worked really, really hard, and, we, and uh, you know, our jobs are to try our best and put our best foot forward, and uh, I think we all did. Of all the scenes uh, that you shared with Zendaya, was there a memorable one to shoot for you? One in I don't think that there was one in particular scene that we shot, but I remember early on in rehearsals, and uh, it was it was a scene between, it was the well, I don't want to spoil the movie. Don't give too much away, yo. But it was a scene between Josh, Z, and myself, and we were rehearsing the scene, and she, it's this moment where she takes over the scene, and I remember watching her, and I was like, oh, she's great. 
we're going to be great. This is going to be great. Um, and I just remember that moment very distinctly. You are in good hands. Yeah. Yeah. And quite literally, I mean, and figuratively, not just on the court when it came to what you guys were doing, but also behind the scenes. And Day as a producer on the film. Did you get to see much of that magic, the behind the scenes of it all, when she put on her producer hat? No. You know, the truth of the matter is, is that she's such a professional that any part of that, she kept that side. And when we were able to step on set and do our jobs, she was fully present and able to bring it. Well, you did your job brilliantly. Congratulations. Have so much fun celebrating tonight. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it for Mike Feist, everyone. <laughs> All right. We are joined now by Luca Guadagnino, director and producer of Challengers. Luca, the big night is here for the L.A. premiere. How are you feeling ahead of it? I'm super happy. I was waiting for this night for a long time. It's fantastic. And the time is now. You know, this is such an incredible film. It's so fresh, energetic, thoughtful. What originally drew you to the story, made you want to be a part of telling it? A great script by Justin Karitskas. The possibility of uh, an encounter with Zendaya, Amy Pascal, the producer, this cast, uh, everything. And uh, mostly the idea that uh, we could have explored how people can really be a mess, but also be irresistible. Mm and how the tennis was a metaphor for all of that. Yeah. I mean, and to that point about being a mess, this love triangle is something. It is really something. It's complex, it's bittersweet. I think it's relatable in a lot of ways. What do you hope, metaphorically, it kind of represents or communicates to the folks who are watching? I want that people feel released, yeah. that they can enjoy them as much as they can enjoy themselves. Yeah. And you mentioned that encounter with Zendaya. You got it. Talk to me a little bit about what it was like to work with her on this film, not just as a leading lady, but also as a producer. Zendaya is a pure filmmaker. She's a force of nature. And to deal with her means to deal with someone who's super focused and knows exactly what she wants, but at the same time, is a great listener and has a sort of sense of partnership that is amazing. I love her very much. And talk to me a little bit about the action scenes. I mean, these tennis matches, the way that they come alive visually was just mind-blowing. What was it like for you directing them? What was the key to capturing that energy? You have to know that I have, before doing the movie, I knew nothing about tennis. Nothing. So it was a crash course for me, and we had the amazing Brad Gilbert helping us a lot. And the more I discovered the rule of the game, and the more I fell in love with it, and the more I felt I wanted to be into it. And with my DP, Sayun Bo Mukti Prom, that's what we did. We immersed ourselves into it. And this obviously is not the first premiere at this point. So what has it been like feeling the love, getting the reception around the world? It's not the first, and we had great premieres all over the world. But in a way, it's back home. So it's a great premiere. Okay. Well, welcome home. Congratulations on an incredible film. Have fun tonight, Luca. Thank you. Justin Karitskis joins me now. You wrote this incredible screenplay. Congratulations. Thank you so much. How does it feel to have this finally come to life? From what I understand, your first produced screenplay, correct? Yeah. No, it's really incredible. And to have it done like this and uh, in Westwood, you know, I, I'm from L.A., so to be at this theater. Hometown hero right here. Yeah, this is really, really meaningful to me. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad that it's so special. You know, Luca called this a bit of a homecoming, this L.A. premiere, even for him. Uh, what was it like, him specifically, being the director, to breathe life into your words? Oh, man. I mean, Luca is such a master filmmaker, and, you know, he really just speaks the language of cinema fluently. Mm -hmm. And so getting to watch him work was like uh, going to film school every day, you know. Um, yeah, it's really special to be there with him. And Zendaya, as our leading lady... We're going to need that all night. Thank you. Every time we say Zendaya, just like massive cheers. Thank you in advance. <laughs> um, working with her also as a producer, which is absolutely incredible. What was the highlight for you? Oh, man. I mean, she's, she's so smart and so hands-on with every aspect of filmmaking. And she's really uh, the kind of actor who treats her work like she's a filmmaker. Um, so she's looking at the monitor. She's in, in the production office, in rehearsal. Um, so it, it's really, really incredible to see her be so involved and hands-on, and um, yeah. And there are so many incredible aspects to this film. I don't want to give anything away for those who haven't seen it yet, but I'm curious, what have you most been interested in communicating or saying via this production, via the screenplay? Oh, man. Uh, you know, uh, honestly, I just hope that watching the movie is as exciting and unpredictable as watching a great tennis match. And that's, that's kind of 
uh, all I want, yeah. and whatever people take from it, um, that's that's up to them. Yeah. yeah. Well, beautifully said and beautifully done. Absolutely incredible film. Congratulations, Justin. Have fun tonight. Thank you. There we go. He got it. Thank you. <laughs> all right, y'all. We've got Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross here. Welcome. Nine Inch Nails in the building. Hello. Um, first of all, gentlemen, congratulations on the film. The score is absolutely incredible. You know you're doing something magical when that's kind of one of the breakaway conversation pieces on social media. Talk to me a little bit about joining this production, what it was like working on the project, and how you really brought the, the film, the story to life via the music. After you. After you. Uh, we had the pleasure of meeting Luca and working on Bones and All together, and as we finished that film, um, we really struck a connection. And he said, uh, I'd love for you to work on the next film. I'm working on Challengers. Read the script, it was amazing. Um, visited the set. And he said, I'd like this movie to be, uh, so you could dance to the whole movie. What if we had like driving, uh, propulsive techno music as the score? And we'll make it so you can't ignore it and it just makes the whole film move. I'm into it. Yeah, and it was, uh, it was an interesting challenge and um, really, I think, elevated the film, the idea of that that came from Luca was uh, really genius and very proud of the work. Absolutely. And what would you add to that? What was the most challenging part, perhaps? I'd add the first email we got from Luca. Luca said, I'm doing challenges. Would you like to do it? It's super sexy. Oh. All capitals spelled with one too many X's. A lot of X's. A lot of X's. I mean, he didn't lie. The film is. How can we deny that? <laughs> we can't deny it. And I don't think I can add anything more than super sexy with two X's. <laughs> super sexy with too many X's. We will take it. Now, you two are longtime collaborators, your bandmates. I'm curious to know, what was it like working on a project like this? How different or maybe not so different was it from the other collaborations we've seen? And what are the rules to collaboration for you two? You know, it really comes to, we try to take each project as its own entity and have it kind of define itself. And uh, w what makes it is who we're collaborating with. And in the case of Luca, he's become a great friend, uh, someone that we artistically trust. And it feels like a fun journey to get into and see what can happen. You know, really, really fun time. Well, it's a beautiful journey indeed. We absolutely love the film and the score. Congratulations again. Have fun tonight celebrating. Let's give it up for him, y'all. Thank you so much. Congrats. First of all, Brad, the day is finally here for the LA premiere of Challengers. Talk to me a little bit about preparing Zendaya, Josh, and Mike to really exude elite tennis player status on the um, screen. It, it was a great experience. Um, it was a great learning experience. And um, actors have a lot of the same DNA as tennis players, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of focus, a lot of determination, and, you know, to really turn what they're doing into, you know, to, uh, something on screen. They, they worked incredibly hard, and it was a great pleasure to work with all three of them. Okay, and I love hearing about that focus and determination resonating not just on the court with real-life athletes, but also with these actors and their profession. I'm curious out of the three of them, I know you might not want to vote, who have the best athleticism just off the rip? Um, you know, they all three of them have good skills. Okay. Mike was the only one that really had um, a little bit of a tennis background. He played in high school. Obviously, um, Z has, uh, you know, a lot of athleticism and dancing and in her DNA. Josh maybe, you know, had swam, he had played soccer, rugby, done all of them, you know, had, you know, their own different um, characters of athleticism, sure. but none of them, like, were prolific tennis players. Okay. Fair, fair. Well, you couldn't tell watching this film, which is a testament to, one, your coaching and also this incredible cinematic experience. I'm curious to know, what was it like for you watching some of these scenes back? Have you seen the film in its entirety yet? At this point, we've had a few premieres. Um, yeah, I have. Um, but, you know, the, it was a short period of time. I spent more time with Zendaya here in L.A. before we started. But, you know, pretty much like, like they're acting, a lot of times you have a short period of time to become the character. So all of a sudden, you know, we had a short period of time, but they put in the hard yards to, to you know, make themselves, you know, the best they could be uh, for this film. What did training look like with Zendaya? What was that like? 
Um, you know, we, we would train early in Boston, um, in L.A., we, you know, we, we, you, she, you know, we did a couple hours every day, then they had a couple hours every day in the gym, not to mention they had their lines, and then they had, you know, um, the, the scenes for the movie, so they had long days, but a lot of times we were in the car in Boston by, you know, 6 a.m., mm -hmm. you know, to be on the courts at 7 a.m., yeah. Well, whatever you did worked because those three looked ready for Wimbledon. So congratulations so much on the job and incredible film. Thank you. I appreciate it. Of it course. Thank you, Brad. Thank you.